the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Gracious and loving Father, during this season of Advent, we are thanking you because you have decided to redeem the world by sending your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We call this as the season of Advent, namely the coming of God. So, to befit this season, during this reflection. God we are going to reflect on one of your final prophets namely John the Baptist help us and inspire us and assist us to know something more about John the Baptist and to learn from him how we can prepare ourselves during this season of advent this we ask through our lord jesus your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god for ever and ever amen he and joseph as unique persons in the plan of god in so far as the incarnation and nativity are concerned other than that the most important person is john the baptist the last of the prophets in today's reflection we consider the person of john the baptist as a messenger and a message at the same time first let us consider him as a messenger in matthew 3:1 to 12 and in matthew 11:2 to 11 we have a profound information about john the baptist in matthew 11 11 jesus himself says among those born of women no one is greater than john 11 10 says i send my messenger before thy face who shall prepare thy way before thee john was to prepare the way for the messiah how did he prepare the people and what was his message to the people what can you and i learn from him for our preparation for christmas is the focus of our reflection today In Matthew's Gospel chapter 3 verses 1 to 12 we read that he prepared the people by calling them inviting them for repentance and conversion He said repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand He described himself as a voice that cries in the wilderness prepare your way for the lord and make his path straight we know brothers and sisters that in our world when a vip visits a town or a city the entire road is made even and clean john the baptist makes a spiritual reference to the roads of our heart to be clean and pure to receive the messiah the savior of the world the messenger cannot be greater than the messiah he says i baptize you with water for repentance but he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire we find it in matthew chapter 3 verse 11 the one who follows me he says is greater than i and i am not worthy even to carry his sandals 
Thus, John the Baptist has a very humble and holy description about himself. How can we imitate this messenger? For many of us, the role we can comfortably play in our Christian life is to be a messenger of God, a messenger of Jesus Christ, a messenger of the Holy Spirit. In the family, in the civil society, in our circle of friendships and relatives, if others can see in our lives a genuine spiritual thirst for goodness, for salvation, for righteousness and for justice, an honest living, truthfulness, etc., we automatically become a messenger of God. In some small way, all of us become the salt and light of the gospel to others. If in our parish or a village, some families stand out as spiritual families and prayerful families, honest and righteous families, to that extent, they become messengers preparing for God's coming. And so, if some people change their ways and get converted, we become the messengers like John the Baptist, preparing the way of the Lord for them. Coming to the part of John the Baptist as a message, we consider his personality itself as a message. We consider his personality itself as a message. In Matthew 3 verse 4, we read that John wore a garment of camel's hair and a girdle around his waist and his food was locusts and wild honey. His very personality was an ascetic personality or a personality of a guru in our terms. What he wore and what he yet were symbols of asceticism. In our country, gurus always attract people in large numbers. In Matthew 3, 5, we read, it tells us that people from Jerusalem and Judea and people from all regions around Jordan went out to hear his preaching and to be baptized with repentance. John the Baptist, brothers and sisters, by his message became a social guru, a social catalyst, singling out change and conversion. There are two messages that are striking in the preaching of John the Baptist. First of all, it is the message of repentance. Second is the message of preparation. Speaking of repentance, his call was a call for conversion and purification. In Matthew 3, 7 and 8, he uses strong words like 
brood of vipers bear fruits that befits repentance he says in the preaching of jesus repentance is the first step to enter the kingdom of god in mark 1:14 after john was arrested jesus himself came saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god is at hand repent and believe in the gospels in a way john was anticipating the call of jesus for repentance brothers and sisters wherever there is repentance there is a remarkable change for the better after hearing jesus is coming to his family zacchaeus instantly repented and changed his old ways luke 19:8 says zacchaeus said these words behold the lord the half of my goods i give to the poor and if i have defrauded any one of anything i restore it fourfold likewise in luke 15 18 and 19 the prodigal son acknowledged his sinfulness as well as his unworthiness to be called a son i will arise and go back to my father he said therefore the call for repentance invites us to change for the better the second message of john the baptist is preparation preparation of the heart and the soul by being baptized with the baptism of forgiveness forgiveness with a dip in the jordan river was a real cleanliness in our country in particular we have beautiful examples of sacred bath in ganges haridwar krishna godavari and other sacred rivers jordan was one such river further preparation was readiness to receive the baptism of jesus namely baptism with the holy spirit and fire john the baptist could not give that baptism he said clearly that after him there is one who is coming and he is greater than he he is not worthy to untie his sandals John was remarkably a humble person guru as he was he handed over his three disciples to jesus by saying behold the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world these two messages of john the baptist should linger in our hearts namely repentance on the one hand and all of us can take to heart these messages for the celebration of the feast of christmas may the person and the personality of john the baptist assist us now and always in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen mm-hmm.